June 3rd, 1997. Does come with the business reply card. And an ad for the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection. This next one's going to be my very first ever HBO Canon Video VHS. Yep. I'm so happy they came across one of these tapes. It's got a tan lid. October 18th, 1986. Even though the print date's underneath the end label, I still know what the print date is. And it's recorded on a Fuji video cassette. And yes, this tape, right after the HBO Canon video logo, this tape does retain the film's 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning. So, one day I'm going to do the opening to this tape. So, yeah. The small, rare, small clamshell version of Operation Dumbo Drop. Yeah, I didn't notice this one existed until I came across it. Recommend this comedy to friends. Haven't seen it yet, but I'll have to watch it one day. March 7th, 1997. Even though this is a 1996 VHS. So yeah, this tape is a later reprint. So yeah, so happy to came across this tape. So yeah. And this next one is going to be my very first Dorian EMI HBO video VHS. This one also has a tan lid as well. July 27th, 1986. Again, even though the print date's underneath the end label, I still know what the print date is. And it's a formal rental from National Video, the same video store that my VHS of singles came from. And just like Highlander, this is recorded on a Fuji video cassette. So, yeah. Now let's go on to slip covers, which I only have four. My second Universal Special Edition VHS. The only one I have is The Fast and the Furious. Now I have another one, which is Patch Adams. Rest in peace to Robin Williams, who's in this movie. The 51st week of 1999. Believe it or not, I have never seen the Matrix movies before. But now I will, now I have this. October 4th, 1999. This one's going to be my very first ever Rocco's Modern Life VHS. And yep, 
Rocco's Modern Life is one of my favorite 90's Nicktoons so I decided to get this. This tape was originally released by Sony Wonder in 1995 but Paramount released this in 1997. This is an orange tape, just like most Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. tapes do. 24th week of 1997, so printed the same week and year as my 1997 VHS of Arrow Monsters Meet the Monsters. And this is duplicated in EP slash SLP mode, so we all know what it has at the end. And this has purple sides on barcode kinda like my Rambo 3 VHS now here's the final VHS for the update I've been wanting to get this movie for so long and now I finally have it same thing with head office cheesy shield Two print dates, May 23rd, 1993 and May 29th, 1993, and it's a former rental from Blockbuster. There you go, that's going to do for my VHS update for September 10th, 2018, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you later.